This is biscuits and gravy. Yes. For all you non-American people, it means... Hi guys, this is Fanchi and today we are in Casey's studio. Somehow, you know, Somehow. I just... Somehow. Yeah, I just popped here. <laughs> <laughs> and today I wanted to have a sort of reaction video on depth map. This new depth map that came out in DaVinci 20. We can review the tool together because yeah. I think it's fun and you can give me also your point of view as a VFX artist on this. Mm -hmm. Um, why I want to make this video because I explained to you a bit in my DaVinci Resolve 20 video that I've done recently. It's because I have a complicated relationship with depth map, honestly. It's complicated. <laughs> yeah, it's complicated because. Were you seeing other depth maps for a little while? Like. A bit, you know, like uh, Magic Mask was actually my favorite. Uh -huh. I'm sorry, you know, oh, because at my. least it doesn't flicker. But yeah, so then I had a very complicated relationship with depth map because I wanted to integrate depth map in my projects. But the problem is that each time I was doing it, I was having a weird flicker or some problems that was coming in my image and I couldn't use it properly, let's say. So always I was falling back to magic mask yeah so that's why you know yeah my experience with a depth map has been oh that's cool and i it's not quite ready to use yet yes that's kind of what it's been yes exactly exactly and so then like when they announced this new depth map that they upgraded for the damage series of 20 i was like hmm, maybe it can be a thing so let's try together i, I haven't even really looked at it very much and yeah. so i'm excited to to dive in all okay, i know is perfect. that it's supposedly better so yeah, let's, let's see, let's see. So right now we have images that have been greatly provided by Casey. Thank you very much. So we are... <laughs> Sorry, I don't know what that was. That's me. <laughs> That's me. She said my name. <laughs> and we are going to test this depth map on this short film. Just to show you guys where I am. I am in a timeline color space in DaVinci Y gamut, output color space Rex 709 gamma 2.4. We are going as usual from in to this camera, which is a Blackmagic Gen 5 to DaVinci Y gamut and putting in Rex 709 gamma 2.4. I've put my LUT that I really like from my companion pack LUT, which is Helsinki, and the Saint-Tropez LUT that are lovely. I just did a quick balance, some split tone, some chroma that you could have seen in my recent video on DaVinci Resolve 20, and a bit of a vignette. So this is the whole look that we have here, and we can do dev map here. So, when I do depth map, I would usually put it at the end of my note tree because this is an effect. And so then I would just create a node after my vignette. I'm going to go to my effect over here and I'm just going to type depth map. Okay. So, already, actually, it does a pretty good job. That's crazy. <laughs> Yes. So that highlights his, I mean, you can see like his nose and his, his like the, the under his chin. Yeah. You can see the depth between his nose and his mouth. Let's just, hold on just a minute. <laughs> hold here. on a minute. <laughs> hold on a minute. So I find that it's great because before when I was applying depth map, it was just making me a mesh kind of like. Yeah. And you could see the shape before, but it wasn't as shaped as this one I mean, and like yeah you that's have really a, great you have really a depth and yeah i find that already out of the bat this is great <laughs> let's dive in <laughs> i mean that's a massive amount of detail that's just so crazy so compared to the first depth map we have more menu that are here especially i think before there was the resulting map adjustment and the isolate specific depth but now we have the map finesse which is great I don't think it was there before uh or maybe, maybe i don't yes. remember i i know maybe it was maybe it was but somebody uh, in the comments will be like 
actually? Actually, it was. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. I don't. I don't know that much. That just much, chill. you know. Okay. Just chill. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, what is very interesting right now is that we have the advanced menu mm. where you have the flicker. Yeah. And so. This is huge because this is actually the real problem I had, which oh. is that when you are doing depth map and you are doing a change, then you have some flicker happening in the image. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, which is a dead giveaway that you've done something yes. like that. You just can't have that flicker. Yeah. So, ooh, that's exciting. I wonder if it works. Let's see. <laughs> let's see if it works. So, just let's just what, see what we can do with this image. And you can see that it's actually pretty good because if I crank the far limit, you can see the shape of his nose quite well. You can see the shape of his mouth and the texture of the hair. Yeah, crazy. I, I think it's crazy. <laughs> it's great. So let's say like I want to select him. I select him. I try to have a clean map, a post filter. Let's see what we can do with that. And a bit of blur, just like to blend everything. I think that's fine. And we leave the deflicker to automatic. So now let's see what it does when we are playing it. So this is okay for me because this is technically a lightsaber, but I see that it's holding quite well, actually. Yeah. Like, yeah, what, what do you think, Casey? Yeah, I mean, that, that looks pretty solid to me. Yes. Uh, very usable. Wow. Yeah. So for example, right, then if I want to make something out of it, let's say like, I want to raise my shadows, then I can and have it in a very natural way because right now we have a delimitation oh, of yeah. the depth map plus we have also the weight of the shape of the image and the light that is taken in consideration. So you're keeping the darkness back here and in the yes. rest of the image and you're pretty much just bringing in a fill light essentially. Yes, exactly. So yeah. it, it really feels like that a fill light. Great. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And if we are playing the clip, if you see this... I would never guess that yeah. it's depth mapped. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I, I mean, that's so good. There's yeah. no flicker anymore. That's perfect, man. Yeah. That, that's, that's really great. I'm actually super impressed of what it does. Okay, how, how does can. this work? Click on, click on this one. Yeah. How does this work in something where there isn't a person? Yes. How does so, that feel? Here, let's see what it does. Because like a lot of that AI stuff is trained on what a person looks like and all of that. And if it's just this patio no one's ever seen before because it's in my backyard, mm -hmm. like, what? how's, that? how's okay. that going? What's that about? Okay, so let's see what we can have. So now we have a shape of the front of your house and, wow. you know, yeah. Does it flick? Because it looks like it might flicker. So what's... Yes, it flickers here. Okay. So you can see here it flickers a bit. Yeah, it's kind of... Okay. It's looking kind of crazy. I mean, it's overall quite good, but yes. yeah, this part's kind of flickering. Yes. So let's see what we can do just with the deflicker first. Okay. Let's crank it to two and see if there's a difference in this. Uh, it's flickering still a little bit. It's, it's still better. There. Yeah. Still there, but we have more motion blur, let's say, because yeah, it now looks like, like there's artifacts because yes. it's blending with itself or something. Yes, exactly. So I would say that if, for example, you are using the advance and the deflicker, then it needs to be something that is not too tremendous, like what we have right now. Yeah. It won't fix it if it's a flicker that is this way. So, of course, you can try different way of the flicker but i really yeah. think that it will be a selection issue so mm -hmm. then maybe we can go to the map level and see what we take in consideration so maybe we can take more thing in consideration and see if it solve a bit the problem so you yeah. can see that now the not as bad as before it also depends on the kind of adjustment that you're going to put on this, yes. too. Because if it's a really strong adjustment, 
that's going to show this map not being great. But if it's subtle, you can get away with more. You know, if it flickers yeah, a little sure. bit, it's not that big of a deal. So it really depends on what you're doing. For sure. If, for example, I do this, you know, maybe you can see what's happening. Maybe the I mean, flicker. Even then it's, it's fine. Yeah, I mean, maybe the flicker was not done, that big a deal. done because of the smoke. So it's still pretty fine. It's still pretty good. Actually. Like, put the most extreme thing that you could think of practically actually doing. Like, that. The or, is that or was that it? I mean. So let's say. Let's <laughs> just <laughs> That's go the extreme. Thing. Yeah, perfect. That's what Yeah, we want. there you see it a little bit. You yes. see a little bit of the flicker. Yes, exactly. You can see. You can see here. But even then, it's... It's still very it's not subtle. awful. Yes. I agree. And you're never going to do something with the, that's that crazy. Exactly. I'm going to start to integrate it in my color grading jobs. So, yeah, I'm quite excited. Yeah. Yeah, that's really exciting. Yeah. Thank you, Casey, for inviting me in your studio. Of course. You know, yeah. uh, it's a lovely space here. Thank you for doing this little video together. Yeah. Lovely to collaborate on one video. <laughs> you know, <Yeah. laughs> it's, uh, it's so cool. And also, if you want to see more of uh, Casey's videos, I put you his channel in the description. Also, if you are interested, we have done a video together about beauty touch-up and cleanups. This video also completely unlocked my understanding of beauty touch-up. So I put you the video in notifications. Thank you so much, Casey. Of course, yeah, and, my pleasure. And I'm gonna put you a video at the end of this video to show you my reaction on the biscuits and gravy that <laughs> Casey <laughs> that Casey made me eat this morning. <laughs> uh, it's American food. Yeah, yeah, it's, a, it's I'm, I'm doing like the whole adventure here. <laughs> it's so great. <laughs> yeah, we had chicken and waffles. Biscuits and gravy <laughs> and a barbecue. Amazing, amazing. I am completed, guys. I can die tonight. I've experienced it all. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Thank you, Casey. And, uh, you. and yeah, see you guys. See you. This is biscuits and gravy. Yes. For all you non-American people, it means bread. Bread pieces with uh, sausage gravy on top and you eat them together, and if you do it enough, your heart stops. Okay, good. <laughs> so, let's see. <laughs> this is the first time. <laughs> it feels like something you shouldn't eat a lot of, huh? Kind of, kind of one of those things. I should don't know what's happening. <laughs> I need to... You know, it's like the, the thing that's first bite, you don't know if you like it or you don't yeah. like it. So I need to round two. For a while, your body settles. Like yeah, your yeah you're settles. right, actually. It's like your second well, bite is better. Just accept it. Just accept it. No. Yeah. Oh my. That's a whole experience, guys. Yeah. Thank yep. you. Yeah. It's our pleasure.